Steph, or sorry, Steve, well, going back to um, Kelly and JTA, even though they play different positions, how nice is it? How good is it to have that reinforcement of Kelly with JTA being out for, you know, indefinitely? Yeah, we desperately uh, need Kelly back, you know, so I'm really excited to have him back and, and uh, he's going to play a big role. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not easy to, um, to you know, for a, uh, any player to go from starting to the bench and uh so i you know i have obviously spoken with him about it and you know he told me that obviously you know whatever we need to do to win and so his attitude has been great and i'm going to try to help him through the process of coming off the bench and we'll, we'll do everything we can to make him as comfortable as possible but uh, it's uh it's a it's a good challenge for him but most importantly uh we need him. We need him to perform at a high level, to bring energy and to, to play um, his minutes at a high level. And if we can maintain the same energy that we've had at the start of games with that starting lineup and then bring Kelly in to be a force off the bench, I think it could really make a big impact for us. What do you like specifically about uh, what Kent brings to that starting unit? I like his intensity. I like uh, the way the ball moves when he's out there. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a guy who will make that quick pass if he catches the ball on the weak side. He'll move it on. He loves uh, competition. He starts the game right away getting into the opponent. So I think what I've seen from Bayes is just a, a positive impact uh, from the start just with his energy and competitiveness. Uh, especially defensively and then just the, the ball movement offensively. We've, we've gotten off to better starts, frankly, and that's why I'm continuing to do this. Thanks, everybody. See you after the game. Can you say what I'm doing right here? Do you expect James to – how often do you expect James to be around the team during his rehab process, and how important is it to, to maintain consistent – contact with him throughout that process yeah we expect him to be uh you know be in san francisco uh throughout you know he'll I'm sure he'll uh, take some time to uh to get away and you know get home uh when he has time to do that but you know, i've talked to james his plans are to be be at our facility during the uh, the, the off season to to rehabilitate and uh so, uh, you know, it, it, that's crucial because he'll need the support of the training staff, but he'll also need the moral support from, from his team and coaches and management. So we'll do everything we can to, to, to help him. Hey, Steve, I know it's kind of day-to-day -day when it comes to the concussion stuff, but do you have any idea how long Juan might be out? I don't. Okay, and then just while I have you uh, – became official today that Gary will be around for at least another uh, 10 days. What has he brought to the roster and, and what have you liked with his time here? Love, love his energy, love his defense, uh, love his intensity. Uh, you saw the other night in the Boston game that he's capable of turning uh, a game's momentum. And that's, um, that's really what you want, you know, out of a, uh, a reserve player. You know, is there a, a certain skill that, that player has uh, that can change a game and Gary has that that skill with his defense so I'm really excited to have him back for the next 10 days at least. Steve going back to the last game what did you take away when you looked at the last few minutes the end of game stuff uh, that ended up being costly? Well it, it, it there wasn't anything egregious Monty that you know we don't I can't really point at one play and say well that cost us a game I, I thought we just competed like crazy and and made some plays and um, they made a couple of big shots you know Kemba's uh, Kemba's three at the end of the shot clock was obviously uh, you know a huge shot and so you just give give Boston credit uh, for their effort but as I said after the game I I love the effort um, from our guys they made some huge plays to keep us in it I think the uh, the overturned three point shot or three point foul was an enormous play, um, and one that I still disagree with. Um, you know, I and uh, I made my my feelings felt to the league. You know, if if you take a shot and the guy hits you on the hand, to me that should be a foul. But uh, I understand from the league that um, you know there's different interpretations of that, and that was explained to me. Um, but that uh, that may have been the biggest play of the game. What's it been like to to have the fans back in the arena as you've been on the road 
lately. It's huge. There's just a different energy um, in the building, and it's so nice. And it's a reminder that you know we're we're slowly but surely getting through this pandemic. But it's um, it's wonderful to hear the hear the fans and, and you know hear the oohs and the ahs when Steph's making a shot, or you know the cheers for for the Sixers when they're doing something. And it's just this is how it's supposed to be. So I really look forward to when everybody's back. How do you think you, you see the Sixers going forward the rest of the season after playing them twice? Sixers? Yes. I, I really like their chances. They were obviously severely shorthanded tonight without Ben and, uh, and uh, Harris. So that's not a, you know, that's, that wasn't their, their team. They were shorthanded. And uh, if they're healthy, um, they're really good. They're a great two-way team. They're one of the best defensive teams in the league. And they cause a, cause a lot of problems offensively too so a hell of a team how did you like the element of kelly uh off the bench tonight and how he contributed i thought kelly was great he stayed ready um you know he brought brought energy he uh used his athleticism and his length made some good defensive plays and uh, he was good you know especially for having missed the last uh, couple of weeks so it's good for him to get his legs back does this feel like a team that's Figuring out, figuring it out at the right time. Uh, yes, I think so. You know, we always had our identity for the for the whole year. It's about just putting it together on both ends of the floor, and uh, you know, we've been pretty great uh, on the defensive end. And it's been uh, Steph has been been doing special things, and I think we all coming coming together at the right time. You know, Steve always kept saying that we were due for a run. We've been taking advantage of our opportunities, and uh, we got to keep it going and keep trying to stay healthy and keep trying to uh, get out get wins. Come on, a nice road trip, a successful road trip. And you guys want to get as many W's as possible. Just talk a little bit about the momentum you have now and going forward. Uh, we got. Uh, I feel like we got a. You know, we on a good run. We got a lot of momentum. It's never easy to win on the road, so uh, this is a big win for us. And uh, you know, hopefully we can close it, close it out with a win on his uh, on his next next his next game in DC. So uh just want to keep keep our momentum right keep uh, building a good ha- habits and, you know keep building that chemistry and uh and just try to have a you know playing good great basketball going into the, the playoffs and the play in so uh I feel like we're headed in the right direction we got to keep building and, and keep uh doing the right things